going on everybody dean here with rc driver hope you're all having a great day super excited lc racing sent us a short time ago a pre-production version of their bhc-1 two-wheel drive 114th scale off-road racing buggy super excited when we got that they told us to keep it hush hush had tested it for a while in the rtr form with a brushed motor they then sent us the kit version so we had already hopped up the ready to run version after we tested it stock. So now we have one of each in front of us. We're gonna tell you all about these two amazing buggies. Whether you wanna be the RTR brushed version or go with the kit version and throw a ballistic castle creations motor in it. Either way, you can't go wrong with what LC Racing is about to release to the masses. All right, so while we have one of each, the kit version that's already built and the ready to run version, we're gonna start off with the ready to run version. First and foremost, it comes with a cool painted body. There's two versions, we got the orange. I was really lucky, orange happens to be my favorite color. And let's start with what we can see. It's got threaded plastic oil filled shocks. They're pretty plush right from the factory, really pleased with that. Um, we've got some stagger cut type front pot tires, some mini pin rear tires. We've got our Lexan wing on the back, um, some gull type front suspension arms. So let's take off the body and see what we've got. Again, let's start up front. We've got a dual bell crank system. It's that reverse style where the bell cranks mount under the front bulkhead. Got a steering servo that it comes standard with. There is no servo saver and it's a pretty durable servo from our testing. We'll get a little more into that later. Behind that, we've got a two-in-one speed control receiver unit. Very similar to what you're seeing in some of the low C vehicles. Same thing, the transmitter moving our way back. While we don't have the battery in it, it comes with a 1300 milliamp 2S battery fits neatly under the Velcro battery strap with a Dean style uh, plug right underneath here. Again, moving back, we've got about a 390 sized brushed motor. Should have plenty of speed and torque. Um, flipping it around over here, no slipper clutch. It's a direct drive from our pinion gear here to our spur gear. We did take off the gear cover that it comes with to show you what it looks like underneath. Again, moving our way back, we've got our th threaded plastic oil-filled shocks. Uh, inside the transmission, we've got ourselves a standard three-gear transmission. What I really, really like, it's got a sealed four-gear differential. We've tuned that with 15,000 weight oil. And on the back end, um, it's got some adjustable hubs, really nice um, feature that LC has done with this. And again, working our way in the back, it's got CVD type ball joints, and it is all set up to uh, accommodate sway bars as an aftermarket part. You can see them out here and there's spots on the arms. So really cool looking at our ready to run version. Uh, costing is gonna be about 190 bucks, not too bad. Now we're gonna move our way over to the kit version. Um, it comes with a clear body. Um, we've already got a clear body off to Bradley Fine Line designed to paint. Again, starting up front, instead of having the plastic threaded shock bodies, it's got aluminum threaded shock bodies. A little more plush, a little smoother. In addition, the kit version comes with uh, plastic wheel hexes. This has aluminum wheel hexes, the 12 millimeter standard wheel hex. So again, Ready to Run has a plastic wheel hex. This has got an aluminum. Ready to Run has plastic shocks. This has aluminum. Um, all the other features are pretty much the same. We did go with a Castle Creations Mamba Micro X2 speed control. This is censored and one of their 6350 censored motors. Um, it's gonna have plenty of rip to it. And another major difference, the kit version has a direct drive from spur gear. This comes with a slipper clutch. Um, when you're gonna be putting serious horsepower down, that is a must have. So both are gonna run you about $190. Main difference, the kit does not come with electronics. Does come with a servo, rather. The kit comes with a servo, but no motor, no speed control, no receiver or transmitter. That's what the ready to run comes with. But the kit version has the threaded aluminum shocks. It's got the aluminum wheel hexes. It's got the slipper clutch, and also the motor plate is slightly different to accommodate for bigger diameter can motors. Build on this, really, really good. Instructions are fantastic from LC Racing. Nothing to keep in mind. Um, again, on the kit version, it does not come with any oils or greases. We went with 600 Centistoke CST oil up front, we went 400 in the back, and again, 15,000 weight diff fluid, or 15,000 CST. We're super excited to show you these things in action. We've tried the ready to run on the off-road carpet track at RC Madness. We've tried the kit version with the Castle Creations power plant here. 
Super excited, let's show you what they're all about. So let's talk about the ready to run version first. It had really good speed, not great speed, but really good speed down the straightaway, perfect for the infield. Wasn't too uh, apt at clearing the double jumps. That having been said, it was set up for 10 scale vehicles, but really good power, really good handling right out of the box, super durable. Um, that having been said, the front pivot block on our ready to run, we did crack it. Um, ours was a pre-production version. I did let the manufacturer know, let the people at LC Racing know. I'm fairly certain they're going to beef that part up, but that is the only part we've actually had fail on either the ready to run or the kit version. So uh, really good. And it actually broke when we had put the brushless power plant in this during our initial testing. So really, really happy. Um, tires are absolutely perfect uh, for off-road carpet racing. No need to go out and uh, jump on aftermarket tires as well. So right out of the box, the ready to run, good speed, really good handling, absolutely pleased. Moving over to the kit version. And again, we've got that Castle Creation 6350, absolutely perfect power, can clear everything, including the triple, as you can see in the video. Super durable, didn't have anything break on this. So again, that first part that we broke with the ready to run that we got, I would not put too much uh, stock in that. Again, sometimes parts break um, for no good reason. This thing has held up phenomenally. Um, again, the build is great. Carves up the carpet track like nobody's business. Similar lap times to a 17.5 two-wheel drive off-road racing buggy. So, um, LC Racing has definitely done their homework with this 14 scale buggy. Um, if I had any complaints, I do wish they maybe had gone with a 16 scale instead of a 14 scale. It's going to be a class all unto itself if you're racing. If you're bashing, you really don't care. But again, if you're racing, this will be a class unto itself, similar to what Losi has with the Mini B. These two cars are not in the same class with one another. Um, but overall, for $190, I'd say it's a really good value really durable, really quick with the ready to run, 
super powerful with a Castle Creations brushless system. So regardless of what route you go, depending on where you are in the hobby, you really can't go wrong. So what do you think? Will you be getting yourself the new LC Racing two-wheel drive 14 scale buggy? Drop us a comment below. Tell us what you think. Will you be getting one? Will you get the ready to run? Will you get the kit version? If you get the kit version, what electronics do you think you'll be putting in it? So again, we're really impressed. We want to thank you for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and of course, comment below.